So uh, the next presentation is going to be, in any case, on the concept of cultural, uh, on, on the concept and cultural characteristics of Shira wood, uh, from our, by our colleagues from Beijing Forestry University. And I'm not sure if we see them. Do we have them? Yes, we do. And where are they? It's Chao Li, I think. I completely mispronounced the name, I'm sure, for which I apologize. Uh, so I ask her to do the, the to do the presentation and also to introduce her co-author. Okay. So the floor is yours. Yes. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen. Fine. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening. So I will start my presentation. I'm Charlie uh, from Zhejiang Zentech University, Hangzhou, China. Uh, so my background is the West Lake of Hangzhou. Uh, it's a pleasure here, a pleasure to present here. And uh, the subject of my presentation is the concept and the cultural characteristics of Shira Wood. And uh, uh, the co-author of this report are uh, Zhao Guangjie, Xiang Junbo, and Lin Jie. And the presentation will cover the following five aspects. Uh, in the first part, I want to, I'm going to begin with the word Bai Mu, uh, which uh, the word Sherwood in Chinese we call Bai Mu, oriented from the classic of mountain and the seas, a famous ancient a famous Asian Chinese book written 2000 years ago and its annotation refers to white trees. So all along we had a few uh, scientific problems. Um, the first one is what exactly is a white tree? In tree taxonomy, uh, it, is it conifer or broadleaf? Which family and which genus does it belong to? And so on. These questions are still up in the air with no definite answers. So uh, according to uh, literature research, there is a little discussion about the Sherwood Paimu. For example, Du Fu, a famous Chinese poet in the Tang Dynasty, the, um, he wrote in his Asian of Chinese point, and among them, the shero wood is explained as wood without coating. At the beginning of the last century, Japanese scholar Dr. Kohoro took the weights of wood anthology culture into account in some scattered discussions on shero wood and the shero wood culture in Japanese and wood culture. Uh, this is very important for our report. So uh, we give the object of, of this study. According to various treatises, there was no scientific and uh, systematic discussions about Sherwood. wood. So in this study, based on the basic principles of wood science, the concept of Sherwood wood and the Sherwood wood culture was de described. So here we give a approach to the concept of shared wood based on the shared wood texture and uh, visual uh, anatomic textual characteristics was described uh, as uh, um, the concept. So here we are going to give a description of the concept of shared wood. Uh, this is the second part about the Sherwood concept. Uh, first, uh, uh, we want to talk about the narrow concept of the Sherwood uh, for softwood. Uh, as we all know, softwood cells consisting of almost a single trick kit, uh, as uh, we can see in the figures. Uh, so uh, for the narrow concept for softwood, the cell type is single orderly and evenly uh, distributed. So the texture of soft is fine. Uh, so this is uh, the atomic, uh, anatomical characters. Um, in general, soft the color is light color, which is purity. So we think uh, this is, is a visual 
characteristics. So also softwood density is low, so it is soft. Uh, this is a textile characteristic. Generally speaking, uh, if one of the softwood has about three characteristics, uh, it is called a shell wood. For example, the Japanese cypress uh, and its status of our core test world, uh, we call it Guan Yin in Chinese. And uh, for the second part, we talk about the broad concept for hardwood. Mm, for the hardwood, we can see uh, the consistency of the uh, hardwood from the figures, um, which is, they are visual fibers and ray cells and the longitude paracut cells. So uh, hardwood texture depends on the diameter of visual and its distribution or the vessel of growth rings. So fine means a small diameter of the vessel and is a hardness distribution or narrow growth rings. Uh, this is, uh, is, is anatomical characteristics. So with the light tint or so the purity resembling that of the soft wing, we also call it, uh, it is, this is a uh, visual characters. Uh, the test characters of uh, hardwood depend on the density. So soft wing would, so soft means low density or similar to the soft wood. Uh, so generally speaking, if one of the hardwood has a boundary, uh, characteristics also referred to as a shell wood. Uh, for example, this is a pass wood and uh, is status for uh, Avalo test world. And uh, this kind of wood was used in many ch traditional Chinese craft. For the uh, third part, we want to talk about the generation path of Sherwood culture. Uh, as we can see the roadmap uh, in the figure, uh, the generation path of Sherwood culture is the transformation of materials for Buddha has status uh, from hardwood to softwood, which is from uh, sandalwood to camphor wood and to Japanese separate cowwood and family to the Japanese separate log. Mm. And this is the sandalwood. Uh, as we can see from the figure, uh, this is the sandalwood and the Buddha has status. Um, uh, the Buddha has in the Yonghe Gong, uh, Wang Fu Pai in Beijing, it, uh, its main bond is cut from a single white sandalwood, and uh, the wood is 26 meter high with 8 meter grind and ground, and the king of Nepal shaped back a tall white sandalwood from India. Uh, upon hearing the news, the Dalai uh, brought it with a large number of treasures and uh, transported by water from Tibet to capital with Sichuan in three years. So this is the background of this uh, status. Uh, so uh, this is the camphor wood and we can see uh, a Buddha uh, made from the camphor wood and the, the Buddha is located in uh, uh, Horinjin Temple, uh, Japan and, uh, and the time of the Buddha is during the uh, Asko period. So this is uh, the Japanese uh, separate wood car. And uh, we can see from the figure, uh, the Buddha is uh, ma made from the Japanese wood car. Uh, this is the old uh, Buddha. Uh, so in Japanese uh, tech and period, the Japanese separa began to use uh, to be used as a raw materials from a single wooden Buddha status. For example, the white uh, Buddha, uh, the medicine Buddha, uh, as we can see in the figure. So uh, at this time, the Japanese separa uh, uh, used in Buddha from changed from the 
move the car to the log. And uh, we can, as we can see from the uh, future, this is a new Budaha. Uh, it is a status of Budaha come from Japanese uh, separate log, and uh, which is located in uh, Japan. And uh, for this uh, part, uh, as we uh, see the Buddha figures and which they made from the wood, uh, we give a brief summary. The appearance of a Jimmy Japanese uh, Cypress uh, log was a turning point in the formation of the Sherwood concept and the Sherwood culture. Mm, and we also give uh, the cultural characters of Sherwood. Wood. Uh, the character of Sherwood Wood culture include four aspects. The first one is fine and purity view. And the second is saving and inclusive view. And the third is soft and close view. And the fourth is simple and simplicity view. Uh, for the first one, fine and clean view. Fine a uh, result from the orderly arrangement or orientation of shareable cells and the uniform distribution. Um, clean is the result of the orderly wood texture and uh, its light color. Uh, as we all know, uh, we can see uh, um, a right culture in uh, traditional China. Uh, in the past few years. So uh, here we try to find some new uh, view about uh, the Sherwood culture uh, characters. Uh, for the second part, the saving and the inclusive view. Physically, the density is low, then the gap is, is large. So uh, it can accommodate under the occupation of other substance but uh, also easy to other substance in and out. Uh, conceptually, lightweight means inclusive, uh, compatible, high accessibility, and other concepts. So for the, uh, for the third part, uh, we think uh, uh, it is a soft and close view. Uh, for shell wood texture, uh, gives people a very relaxed and uh, soft feeling. So as we can see from the picture, uh, without uh, the slightest sense of heavy operation, generally the shell wood interior decoration space composed of uh, uh, separate gives a person kind of uh, loose, gentle, easy to get close uh, to the uh, psychological feeling. So in general, white wood has a neat and orderly green with a mountainous pattern, uh, showing a single simple pattern. For example, the straight strips on the diameter section of a separate have the positive meeting of bright and refined, while giving a natural simple and no artificial feeling. So here we give a conclusion uh, for narrow definition of the texture of softwood has delicate uh, atomical characters and the visual characters of cleanness and the soft textile wood. As the broad definition, the hardwood wood texture uh, characters conform to a narrow definition. Um, at the last part, uh, the appearance of Japanese separate single wood can be regarded as a turning point uh, in the formation of a shared wood culture concept. And the, the characters of a shared wood culture include four aspects, fine purity, uh, saving inclusive, soft close, and uh, simple and uh, simplicity. Um, uh, as the first word, uh, share wood, uh, this is due to the fact that the share wood concept draws to some extent on the thinking of J Japanese scholar, uh, Mr. Kohara, from the concept uh, to the cultural identity. 
and uh, the evolution of the raw material for the wooden status of Buddha can tapply and fully uh, reflect the process of the formation of the concept or the culture uh, characteristics of the white wood. And uh, uh, about all this is all my uh, slides and uh, thank you. Uh, this is my presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, very interesting, very, for my ears, you know, from Europe, a very foreign concept. It's like a cultural way of defining a, a tree. Questions, the floor is yours. Uh, some people switched on their cameras, so they might have questions, please. Your talk is the Shira wood. Shira is Chinese or Japanese? Uh, it is uh, Japanese. Japanese, they are not Chinese, yeah? Yes, in Chinese we call it Bai Mu. Yeah, therefore I ask the, the why this, the, you mean that this, the Shira of the culture actually might be originate from China and transfer to, to Japan? Is that your the opinion? Yeah? Uh, yes, because we uh, found the, the uh, definition uh, of the uh, shiro wood uh, from the Japanese uh, uh, scholar. Can Mr. you turn to the first slide? Can you turn to the first slide? The very old Jap the Chinese book. The Chinese, uh, Chinese book. Can you? And then in the Chinese writer, this the white wood. Uh, something yeah. like that is the the culture is the very white and now is the southern areas this wooden culture and also black trees black wood can you understand this yes um color uh, the tree color is the pure white and now is a certain part, certain areas mm -hmm. have this the uh, wood culture and also black trees. What does a black black wood? It's quite different from the Shira wood. Can you interpret it? This black wood. Understand? Understand my question? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um. Hey, um. Uh. We have a. Definite difference about the uh, word in Chinese. So, yeah. uh, I, uh, in this book, the uh, mountain and the sea, the book yeah. uh, refers to white trees. But yeah. uh, I think this is uh, from the uh, literature uh, explanation. And uh, mm, as for the uh, past and we try to explain the characteristics based on the wood sense. Um, so please uh, later check it is what does it mean the black wood in this book class book. It's not mm -hmm. like right now you don't need the, the answer the questions but pro probably later you can try to interpret these the black colored wood. Why the white colors have been interpreted as the black colors? Okay. okay. I, can, okay. I can send your email later. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And let's, yeah. let's move swiftly over to the other question. We still have a minute or two, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. I, I very much enjoyed your talk. And I was, uh, when you showed these beautiful Buddha statues, I was reminded of a big. Buddha statue uh, from the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, of which I once identified the wood as a weeping willow. So uh, Salix babylonica uh -huh. that has a, a light, dirty white wood. But would you rank a, a wood like willow wood and poplar wood also as the Shira uh, mm -hmm. type of wood? 
Uh, maybe I can try to give you one or two. Uh, so it, it, it is a hard word, but it is a, a hard word which fits some of the features uh, this, of your of your uh, soft words. This is a password. Uh, this is a hard word. And uh, we use the, uh, the password to do a lot of uh, craft in China. Yeah, and it is not the password. It was the, the, the statue I identified was definitely a Salix Babylonica, the weeping willow <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, from China. Mm -hmm. Never mind. It's it is it's it's it it just illustrates how difficult it is to combine botanical evidence or wood anatomical evidence with linguistic mm -hmm. philosophical approaches. But it's very good for us to of you to make us think of that. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Thank I'll you. have you uh, uh, Yes. Uh, I will write down the questions and uh, reply to uh, Professor uh, Guang Jie Zhao. And thank you okay. for your uh, uh, advice and questions. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for everybody. I'm glad that was a good discussion.